Hi everyone, it's Hayden, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really pretty bow to fit your American Girl doll. Um, I did get this idea from another YouTuber, but um, I did add my little twist on it, and um, I um, I did kind of like basically did my own measurements and stuff because um, I needed to fit American Girl dolls. So, um, there is absolutely no rec um, sewing required, so stay tuned to learn how to do this really cute look. Alright guys, so to recreate this bow to put into your doll's hair, well, you are going to need a ribbon, depending on how um, big you want your bow to be. If you want it to be average, like just big but not too big. You're going to want a ribbon that's a little bit taller than your doll, not too much taller, I'd say about this much taller. Compared to a doll, it would be about this much taller. So, but if you want it bigger, then you're going to need a much bigger one. So you're going to need a hair tie right here to then glue to the back of your bow. Right here, but we'll get into that later. And then you're going to need another hair tie, just one that you don't use. doesn't matter the color because you're going to cover it up anyway. Um, one that you don't use to then tie the bow together. Like you see, there's a hair tie underneath there too. So, what you're going to want to do, so you're going to want to take your ribbon, and you're going to want to fold it. I'd say about like two inches. So you're just going to want to keep on doing that. Okay, so now that you've folded it, you're going to want to just kind of fold it in the middle so it takes kind of a bow type shape. Just kind of play around with it until you get the shape that you want. Oh, and guys, you're also going to want to leave a tail because, yeah, you'll see what we'll, we're going to need the tail. So. Once you've got the shape that you need, that you want, you're going to want to take the hair tie and just tie it. Okay, so, once you got your hair tie on there, you're just going to want to, you know, kind of play around with it and make sure that's how you want it to be. You know, th yeah, this is how I like it. You can, like, slide the hair tie around to make it even. I like it like this. And you can also put it up to your doll and see if it's too big or too small because this is your chance to really undo everything and just redo it if it's too big or, you know, make the creases a little larger if it's too small. So the crease, it's about like the folds um, is about, they're about two inches. So, like about two inch folds. That's what I do when it creates like this really cute little ball. Now it's like little creases in there, so you can also finger those. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is just you're going to want to take the tail, and you're going to want to kind of put it over. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so just so you guys know, I actually like to kind of twist it a little bit, so then when you bring it over to the front, it has that kind of twisty look to it, like that. Okay, so when you're done with that, in the back, you are going to want to twist it a little bit and then tuck it underneath right here. You want to tuck it in the back. Okay, so what I did is I actually tucked it twice, so I tucked it in once and then I tucked it in another time. Just make sure that it's really tight, because this bow is my first bow, like, it's starting to kind of fall apart because I didn't tuck it in enough. So, make sure that you really do go, like, really tight, and I almost, like, almost chipped a nail by actually tucking it so tight. Yeah, just make sure it's really stuck in there. Okay, and then you're going to want to play around with your bow a little more. 
Again, just make sure that's how you want it. How I want it right now. You know, kind of a cute little bow. So, now what you can do now is that you can take a clip and just like clip some, like, uh, maybe a brooch, like a little mini one or something like that inside, like right here. Just like clip it on. But I'm not going to do that. Because, I don't know, maybe I will, I just, no, I think it's nice like this. But you can add a little bling to it if you'd like. Now, the next part, you're going to need a, your, um, a parent's help, I'm going to ask my dad to do it, is super glue this, um, hair tie, which is American Girl Doll Hair Safe, is what I like to call it. Um, there's no metal piece. The metal pieces actually damage your doll's hair really bad. It's not really thin like the hair tie that's underneath all this ribbon. It's kind of thick. It doesn't have a metal piece. And it's, um, I got so many of these for about a dollar. And they're made out of bamboo actually, which is really cool. And so you can, you, you know, you don't have to go like super expensive on these, but you can just. I got a whole pack for a dollar and I was so happy to have found them because they really, they work really good. So I didn't keep the label so I can't tell you which brand it is, but they work really good on American Girl doll, um, hair and they don't like rip out the hair or anything because itsy bitsy little like elastic bands and stuff, um, especially on dolls with curly hair and you're not going to want to use an elastic bag band on Rebecca. That's why. I'm not going to be using this one, Rebecca. She's just my model to see how big. But yeah, uh, you're got only going to want to use clips on your curly doll's hair. I think I already went through this with in another video. But yeah, so you guys know, this is about how big you're, how thick you're going to want your American Girl doll hair tie to be. And in the back, you're going to take some super glue and super glue it. And I'll also film that. So yeah, stay tuned for the last part. Okay guys, um, here I have everything set up. Now remember, when you're going to be using a hot glue gun, by the way, always ask for parents' permission before doing this. Um, this is not plugged in, by the way, just so you know. Uh, you're going to want to look for scratches or anything like that, or any anything that could like leak out glue or something. Just make sure that it's in perfect condition. And also look, um, look at the cord to make sure that it's not frayed so that you don't electrocute yourself. And then you're going to want um, some tin foil um, so that all the excess um, glue will, you know, leak out and knock it on the paper because it's really hot. So, And then you're going to want a pointy thing, as in uh, this mantle paper clip or a toothpick or a small twig or anything you like. Then you're going to want you're going to want um, a um, hair tie, sorry, uh, your bow that you've just made. And make sure that's turned on the back side. So you see, it's not as nice as the front side. So yeah, back side. And you're going to, if you have a hair tie like mine, you're going to want to kind of open it up a little bit. Like that, so that you can then stick it right here. Once you've, again, this is not hot, so this little piece right here is gonna be extremely hot. So guys, if you've never done this before, or you know you don't have your parents' permission, then just let your parents do it. So you just click the glue on here, small blob, and then just stick it on there. Okay, and then press it down with the pointy thing. Alright, so remember, do not attempt this without a parent's permission. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the glue gun. I'm going to just get everything ready. Because this stuff dries pretty fast. And I'm going to just...
Now remember, the glue's hot, so you're going to want to push it in with something pointy, like a toothpick or a dismantled, um, dismantled paper clip. Mom, I need to see two. Alright, and the good thing about um, this glue gun is that you can use on metal and wood, so it's super strong. Just gonna wanna just hold it down there and kind of get it where you want it to be before it dries. I might actually put a little right here. Just gonna let that sit. Okay, and now I'm just going to let that dry, and I'm going to switch off that glue gun.